Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for October uh, 2nd to October 8th. I do apologize for the delay. There's some pretty strong energies out there right now and they are affecting me in a very big way. It's a good way, um, but they are affecting me. So this is for Sagittarius. Um, I have pre-shuffled these three decks that you saw. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Now I had somebody comment on your um, reading maybe a week ago or so. And they said, they said, always the same shit. <laughs> Well, you have to do something yourself, you know. This is a uh, perhaps, but you have to make, you have to do something as well. I mean, this, y y they say, you know, follow your dreams. You actually have to follow your dreams. You can't just dream, dream, dream and not do anything about it, okay? Um, so anyway, these cards just fell out. Look at them. They're beautiful, Sagittarius. Beautiful fallout right here. Okay, this is a new welling of emotion. It's a new love or a resurgence of a relationship. Right here we have the lovers. This is an unexpected love, okay? Maybe all of a sudden somebody is interested in you or you're interested in them and there's a pretty strong attraction, all right? Or it could be somebody that you already know because this could also be a resurgence. It could be a new love or it could be a resurgence of a relationship. But let me tell you, it's going to be very excitement. It looks like there's a, this isn't a very exciting week for you. We have two aces right off the back. bat. It's about manifestation. Ones are about manifestation. So pay attention to your thoughts, okay? This looks really good. These are gifts from God, okay? Love and excitement. This is generally, and in a lot of cases, a new partner, a new sexual partner that promises excitement. And we're just going to keep going because I think it's time. And I will zoom this in. About time your wishes be fulfilled, huh? It's funny how I started this reading out like that. Now you have to remember that every word that I say during the minute I hit record, during the reading since the minute I hit record is for you. Whether it's about me, about a post, whether it's about anything. The words that come out of my mouth during this reading are meant for you. Now you have three aces, so you are really getting some gifts from above, all right? This right here, the shadow side, this is the devil card, all right? So it looks to me, I mean, this is the basis of your reading. I'm going to try to finish dealing the cards. Looks really good this week, please, Lord. This is what you guys need. I know that you guys need this and you've been waiting for it. And it's funny that I started this story out like that. Okay, the basis of your reading is the devil. I see that you guys have some desires, okay? And you've been waiting for something. The devil is about desires. They're also about addictions and obsessions and manipulation and power and control. It's also about a false imprisonment, so just beware that you may be falsely connected to something that you don't need to be. We do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right next to it, so that's probably you. And I think that falseness is your own insecurities because this is insecurity up here. So, I mean, I think you really are beautiful. You, a lot of you are probably an old soul, and I just feel that way. Um, not all of you, but some of you are. But I do feel like... Um, you have a lot of inner beauty, and I think this week it's really shining prominently. Um, you do have a lot of wish fulfillment this week, so probably it looks to me like probably, you know, there could be a resurgence of a relationship or a new love that's coming in, and it's quite expected. I mean, unexpected, unexpected. Um, but you've been waiting for it. So that they really, you've been waiting. It's like, what, when is this going to happen? So you've been expecting it, but it just hasn't been coming. So that word was correct as well. But this, this person might not be who you think it is. Put it that way. They may not be who you thought, thought they were. All right. Put it that way. They may not, they may be completely somebody different. 
you know, on the inside. Maybe you thought they were this and they really weren't. Is that, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but now we have these three aces. I really have to tell you that's instant manifestation. Your thoughts become things. Remember to think positive at all times. You have to. Remember I started this out with about your dreams and you have to follow your dreams. You have to do something about it. It starts within your head. It starts with positive thinking. All right. So with the devil card right in the middle, I see sometimes maybe you feel the need to escape or you feel like you need to um, hide your inner demons, okay? Like like I do see, see some addictions. I do see some obsessions and perhaps the need to overindulge every once in a while because there's been some inner conflicts. There's been some inner negativity and I think that's within yourself. I do see that you're broadening your horizons and I think you're starting to look at things from a new perspective. I think that you have a fresh start with this fool right ahead of you. I mean, right here. This tells me that um, you're about to take a leap of faith. All right? Maybe you are this week. I think that you're starting to free yourself from what the whatever was negatively holding you back. And I think a lot of that was your own negative thoughts. And I think it's bringing more love into your life. That's what it looks like. I think this week is, is very hopeful. <laughs> it, it is. It looks really, really good. It's a, it looks like a wonderful week for positive, positive... Um, things to come to fruition, you know, that you've been waiting for. I think you've you've been persistent. I think you've been waited long enough and it's time for this fresh start to finally happen. That's what I see. That's what it looks like to me. I think it's a time of rebirth. All right. Um, trust your intuition. Listen to your um, inner guide. Um, Remember that your strength comes from within, all right? With this Empress, Empress card, your strength comes from within, within your heart, within your soul. The Empress is um, a person who gets through life with her inner beauty. It's not about the money. It's not about possessions. It's about who she is. And she gets through life with her her inner beauty, you know, she, people are drawn to her because she's glowing and she vibrates very highly. So this week, I think that you are probably glowing. A lot of you, you're probably feeling very attractive and you may be even feeling very kind and gentle towards others. All right. There's for some of you, there's a new love. There is. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Aries, Leo, or another Sagittarius, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be a Leo, I think I already said that, could be, did I say Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini. There's, there looks like there's some excitement here with that Ace of Wands. Okay, I think there's a new growth. There's, there's, it's definitely a time of rebirth for you. I think there's some kind of renewal here. It looks really good, and I think it, it all starts with you. Like I, I started this out with you have to, you have to do something to follow your dreams. I think that's what's happening. I think that's what's happening. I think that you, a lot of you are changing your, your thought process, and it's manifesting. We have instant manifestation here with these ones. One, one, one. Five of wands. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And this is also love. Okay, I think there could be love coming in for many of you. All right. And this doesn't may not resonate with all because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. And like I said <clears throat> to that person who says they get the same things every week and nothing is changing, you have to you have a part in this. You have to think positive. If you think neg negative, you vibrate lower. And nobody is going to come that direction. They can feel your vibration. You must vibrate highly. 
if you vibrate low and if you remain negative, everybody's going to, they can feel that, they can see that. So keep that in mind. All right. This is a false imprisonment. That's the basis of your reading. Okay. That's the devil card. It's a false imprisonment. You can free yourself from these negative thoughts. You can. Or whatever negative situation that you are in. With the, I also have to mention now that it's popping into my head, with this devil card and this lover's card, this next person, whoever comes to mind, if you're with somebody and it's a resurgence of a relationship, there's probably a deep, deep connection between the two of you that could be karmic, okay? And not all karmic relationships are doomed. I don't believe that. I don't. Some people do. I don't. Sometimes karmic relationships last forever, in my opinion. <laughs> Good luck is right around the corner. Thank you, Lord. Didn't I ask the Lord for... I can't remember what I asked, but I said, please, Lord, something like that at the beginning. Wheel, and I'm not a Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune, and I don't think I have much Sagittarius in my chart. But anyway, Wheel of Fortune, this is good luck. This is good fortune that is finally, finally coming for you. And it involves love because this is the night of love, okay? You could be acting more lovingly or love could be headed in your direction. And it is absolutely what you've been waiting for. But you are going to have to take a leap of faith and jump into the unknown, okay? You're going to have to fly into it not knowing what the outcome is going to be, all right? The Hierophant, that comes up that says that you've been seeking guidance. Perhaps you have been more spiritual, more connected to the divine, more open to it. Maybe you're seeking counseling from somebody else, maybe um, from somebody you respect. But I think that you are also listening to your inner guide a lot more. And I think that's helping you in a very big way. Now, I need to get back to this lovers and this devil card when I said this this union, you know, this as they could be a soulmate, could lead to a marriage eventually. It could. Um, but I see that there's still these 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 conflicts, all right, there's still this tension, and I'm not sure why. Um, we have this it's like a disagreement, there's strife. But I think you're healing. You're healing from because this is a healing card. You're healing from those from the strife in your life. I think you are. In your healing by acting in love, you know, in kindness. There's a lot of wish fulfillment, okay? Satisfaction, finally. Four of Cups. Blended pleasure, all right? Next to the Wheel of Fortune. It looks really, really good. I think that there could be new love coming or, or a resurgence of a relationship this week. For many of you, this may not resonate with all. For some of you, you could still be missing the opportunity. This is the Four of Cups because you haven't changed your thoughts yet. You're still vibrating on a low level. You have to raise your vibration by acting like this Empress. She, she's not worried about nothing. She, her soul is beautiful and she doesn't worry about a thing. It's a time of rebirth. She 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 just goes with the flow and doesn't she never she doesn't get angry. You know, she doesn't think negative. She knows that her inner guide will get to get her to where she needs to be. Okay? She trusts herself. All right? She's beautiful inside and out and she knows it. But she doesn't gloat. She doesn't gloat about it. Okay, she's kind and gentle and at ease. All right, so that's a message for you. And she vibrates very highly. She is the master of all the women or men in the, in, in the, the reading because she vibrates so high. Everybody is going to want her because she's vibrating so highly that everybody can feel it and they're just going to gravitate towards her. This is, a, this is a message for you. All right. She doesn't think negative, and people know it. So for some of you, you could miss an opportunity in love, because this is often a missed opportunity in love, 
because you haven't gotten to this spot yet. But I think a lot of you are becoming more spiritual and more open to this divine, okay? And more listening to your inner guides, all right? I think you really are, a lot of you. Let me get one of these whispers of love and see what comes up. Fallen, and I'm going to stop right here. Look to your inner strength. Oh my goodness, I think that's probably the perfect card. <laughs> I think we were just talking about that, weren't we? Kind of, with the Empress card. Beautiful. Oh, and it's number 11, so we have some more ones. Instant manifestation. I'm telling you what. Seriously pay attention to your thoughts. Your thoughts become things. And that is the truth. You are stronger than you realize. The angels are asking you to dig deep inside of your inner self. The strength is in you. Though it may not feel like it right now, you will be able to push through this. Believe in yourself and know that you have the power within you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. October 2nd to October 8th. Thank you for your patience and I will talk to you next week.